Hi guys, okay, so I am back. I have the nails on now. I'm using the Jowfully 2XL uh, Square, which is my absolute favorite. I also use the uh, Jowfully Gel Glue as well as the primer. I do have a discount code for Jowfully, linked down in my description as well. All right, so we're gonna give these uh, tortoise shell nails a try. I just need to figure out what colors I'm supposed to use first. I'm thinking I go in with the yellow first. Then I just add splotches of this orange. And then on top of that, I add splotches of that. And then I finish off with this. I'm just wondering if some of this goes in as well. Or do I not use this one at all? Is it like that? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these ones. I mean, you could use either. I don't know. We're just gonna play this one by ear. So I would need number one, excuse my, um, my, what you call this, my jumper, because I am um, uh, doing some laundry. Anyway, so number one, number three, four, and six. All right, that's what we're working with today. Uh, I'm gonna get started by using some base gel. I'm gonna use this base gel here from Glow Tips. I do have discount code Glow Tips as well. I haven't used Glow Tips for a while, so I feel like I just wanna. Plus, I don't think I have a base gel from Colorful July. I don't think. Actually, I'm just gonna do one nail first. And I apologize if it seems like I'm shouting. I don't know why I feel like I'm shouting, but I'm always loud anyway. I'm gonna go in with a layer of base gel first. Let me calm myself. And we're gonna give this a cure under the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And then we will get started attempting our tortoise shell nail. Okay, so here we go. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the number one, which is this one here, which you can see. Um, I think I'm gonna do a side French and just do a nude, just in case I don't like it. So I'm not gonna do the whole nail. So we're just gonna go ahead and it's not gonna be perfect. I don't do perfect Frenches over here. I like my Frenches to be just a little bit on the wild side. So we're gonna take that first layer. And we're just gonna color it in. And it is seriously sheer. I wonder if I'm supposed to go in with like a white or something to the bottom. But I wonder if that takes away from the color. Might need to go in with two two layers of this first color. All right, we'll give this a cure onto the UV lamp and then be right back. Going in with the second layer. Just makes it just a tiny, tiny bit more yellowier. Now, whilst this layer is wet, right? I feel like I'm going to go ahead and add the other layer. Yeah, the color, sorry, which is this one here. I should probably open all of these up one time. Hopefully I don't regret that. So what I'm gonna do It's just kind of fill in a few areas with this darker color and I think doing it wet allows it to kind of just blend into the color a little bit better rather than putting it on top and then you have to struggle a little bit with um, getting it flat Got some polish on my skin just now. So there's no method to the madness here. We're just kind of just kind of filling in the spaces and seeing how everything kind of comes together. Okay, so I think I filled in quite a bit there. So now what I'm gonna do is while this is still wet, I'm also just gonna go in and see if I can just add this color in.
I wouldn't take too long because you don't want them to bloom too much. You know, because then the colors start to get mix match with each other and they get a little bit lost. So I and I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and see how we how we look from there. Do I want to cure this now? Actually, while it's wet, because we could always wipe this off if it doesn't turn out. Let's go ahead and add the black. Um, that's not bad. It's just really, really clear. So we're gonna have to play with it just a little bit more. And I do have texture from the side. You can see that every time I add a layer on, it kind of uh, adds a little bit of lump to the nail. Right, okay, let's cure this and then we'll see how we're gonna fix it. Um, hmm, okay, I don't know. It's giving frog skin, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it's giving tortoise shell. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the uh, sea sing and sun to add the nude part of this nail. And we're just going to paint sideways. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just coming down to connect the two colors and don't worry about the line because we're going to be going in with some uh, gold flakes uh, over that line that center line there so don't worry about it too much I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this under my my UV lamp I'll be right back okay so i have a second layer of the nude gel polish on i'm thinking i'm gonna go in with the candlelit here and we're also gonna go in with some gold flakes to add a little bit of pizzazz to this nail set so we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of just slap that on there don't worry about it it doesn't need to be perfect and uh, we're just gonna add some gold flakes on Try to get a, a good amount of polish on there. I mean, we probably don't even need to add the gold flakes, do we? Because this is a different, yeah, this is a different gold. It is so beautiful. We probably don't. Yeah, but I'm still gonna add it on. Okay, so uh, if you hear any background noise, uh, those are the kids, guys.
Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, the gold is is overpowering possibly the design, which is fine because I didn't do it properly anyway. Probably gonna do the exact same thing on the uh, ring finger. So I will finish this off at a little bit of top coat and then do the exact same thing on the ring finger. All right, I know my desk is a mess. Uh, but th this isn't a channel about being clean and, and not, well, I shouldn't say clean, but being aesthetic and everything like this. When I do nail art, this is how it looks. So I'm just quickly popping back in here. Here's what I noticed. I went in with the whole nail with the new gel polish from um, uh, Nail Reserve. And you can see here, it's definitely much different than this glass thing that I have going on here. So I don't know if you prefer to just go in with a new gel polish or if you prefer to put it on top of just clear and, and do it differently with that. But I just want to show you that I did it differently. I think I like it better on top of a nude just because the colors will pop just a little bit more. Mind you, it is a little bit darker than this here, but you can still see the, oh, this new gel polish is from the gods. From nail reserve i have discount code for nail reserve as well anyway i just thought i'd mention that so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go in with our goldy goldy smoldy and we're just going to slap it on there once more again just like that nothing fancy just make sure you have enough product on there for your um gold flakes to stick on to again the gold flakes are optional you don't have to because this gel polish is just Stunning. You see that? Do you see that? Glow tips. They need to come out with a whole sparkly collection like that. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these gold flakes right here. And we're just... Well, now, why you do that? We're just going to kind of spread it out. Um, again, I like my nails messy. I don't like them extra perfect. I like them to be wild. Like... Girl, why you do that? Like, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. That's how I like my nails to look. All right, I'm gonna give that a cure and then we need to figure out what we're gonna do on the other nails. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> Hello, excuse me. Hi, look at those nails. Yes. Okay, so I remembered that this autumn seasonal box also came with some uh, stickers. So I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking these two are the two that would fit probably. I'm just wondering what color. I want to use the gold leaves. I feel like I just want the gold leaves to be in there. I don't want any other colors. But I feel like the or the orange would add just a little pop of color to it to kind of bring in. So, but then again, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I could put orange on this finger here because if I put the orange too close, it's going to clash with the tortoise shell. So what we'll do is we'll do gold leaves on these two. We'll do gold and an orange on that just because, and you won't really see the thumb anyway. So, uh, yeah, this, this would have been, no, I don't really go. Okay. Let's go with these leaves. I have no idea where my tweezers are. I need my tweezers. So, hmm, uh, let's do this one here. I like this one. We'll do right here. Oh, she big, eh? I'm getting my fingerprint all over the tacky layer, but that's okay. That's why we have gel. Oh, is a good thing we put the gold, the flakes, because uh they are they match this i am um, that's a big leaf too i feel like i'm gonna do something to the top part of this pinky over here let's go with this one we might need to add a splash of gel polish onto them it just looks weird just with the sticker on there just like I just slam it on there I might just get a black gel liner and add just a little something onto them what should I do for this one is the question or maybe I should just leave that plain should I go in with another leaf 
like maybe that leaf there that tiny leaf there let's see well it's on now so it ain't coming off no time soon yeah the oranges are just a tiny bit loud yeah, I'm just gonna get a black gel liner because I need to dumb the orange down just a little bit. Oh my! All right, I have this uh, gel liner here from SXC Cosmetics. I did a I did a video on this I think about a while back. Um, we're gonna use this one called Orchestra. I think it's black. It looks black. And we're just gonna add just you know we just want to bring a little bit of blackness to the nail. Again, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could just be a little I don't know abstract line. That looks stupid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, or maybe it looks fine by itself. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Just, just put some top coat on. I'll be right back. All right, nail fam. So I put some Google oil onto these nails. I filed around the edges. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with the black gel polish. I just kind of slapped some dots and some lines on there. And this is the final look of this nail set. Completely wild, weird, possibly a few mistakes I've made here and there. But all in all, I absolutely loved everything that was inside this mystery nail art box. Well, seasonal autumn nail art box from colorful july make sure you check the description down below for some discount codes never pay never pay full price darling thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys